Pile Dynamics Shaft Quantitative Inspection Device, or SQUID, quantitatively assesses the quality of the bottom surface of board piles or drilled shafts safely and effectively. The SQUID system is an alternative to visual inspection of the excavated shaft base, providing accurate displacement and penetrometer measurements with an objective quantitative assessment. SQUID does not require testing personnel to work near the excavation. It attaches to the end of the drill stem or Kelly bar, creating a relatively quick and safe procedure. This video will serve as a quick start guide, walking you through the setup and field operation of the SQUID system. Let's start with the components included in each of the two shipping containers. The SQUID hardware components are shipped in a custom wooden crate which includes the following. The SQUID body, referred to as the acquisition unit or downhole sensor device, a Kelly bar adapter specific to your rig configuration, three contact plates, instrumented cone penetrometers with two options based on soil conditions, a cable reel and the necessary nuts, bolts, washers and wrenches to assemble. In the black transit case, you will receive the SQUID tablet, referred to as the main unit or handheld data collection device, and a soft-sided carry case and a wireless transmitter unit. To prepare for a shaft inspection, attach the Kelly bar adapter lining up the bolt holes to secure the top of the SQUID acquisition unit. Be sure the bolts are tightly secured using the 1 and 1 8 inch wrench provided. The Kelly bar adapter allows for a quick pinned connection to the stub column of a drill rig, which lowers the squid to the base of the shaft. Then remove the squid acquisition unit from the custom wooden crate and place it on level ground. The squid includes three retractable contact plates designed to exert only a low pressure, approximately 20 pounds per square foot, onto the bottom geomaterial. The contact plates are attached to high precision displacement transducers and surround each of the three penetrometers. You may switch out the penetrometers depending on the geomaterial of the site. Utilize the 1 and 1 4th inch wrench provided in switching a penetrometer cone. During operation, the penetrometer cones penetrate through the debris layer and into the bearing material under the weight of the Kelly bar, while the contact plate remains on top of the softer material. It is a good idea to inspect the contact plates and penetrometers for any damage prior to use. The SQUID system also includes a transmitter unit located within the black transit case that attaches to the outside of the cable reel with tie wire. Zip ties may also be used. It is important to note that the data is transmitted from this device to the SQUID main unit positioned at a safe distance from the borehole. Once the transmitter unit is attached to the cable reel, connect the power switch adapter located at the bottom of the transmitter unit and the brown cable connector to the side of the transmitter unit. Once both connections are made, verify that the green indicator light is glowing at the top of the transmitter unit. Now, connect the waterproof connector at the opposite end of the cable reel to the squid acquisition unit. While the squid acquisition unit is hanging freely, locate the power button on the side of the squid main unit, turn it on and enter the squid program located on the Windows 7 desktop. The quick start guide included in your order will provide thorough software system instructions. When ready, lift and position the squid acquisition unit over the desired shaft to be tested. The cable reel operators should position themselves in a safe distance from the borehole taking note that the cable is free and does not become caught in the Kelly bar. Begin by lowering the squid acquisition unit slowly and applying the Kelly bar weight to locate the bottom of the hole. Monitor the force and position sensors on the squid main unit, then slowly rise 12 inches above the bottom sediment layer. Slowly lower the squid acquisition unit again, applying Kelly bar weight. If additional weight is desired, Crowd pressure can be applied carefully and slowly. Once encountering resistance, the contact plates remain on the top of the debris layer while the squid penetrometers move through this layer into bearing material, measuring both the thickness of soft material or debris on top of the bearing strata and the penetrometer cone pressure. 
it is recommended to perform three to five data points on any given shaft. Always monitor the force and position measurements during testing. Once the tests are complete, the inspector, engineer, or contractor can now make an immediate decision as to the whole acceptance, if additional cleanout is necessary or if more drilling is required. Please contact us for more information. Thank you for watching.